Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, this is Eddie, that's Lemon Pest on the left, and today we're going to go and get another power first of all. So let's get into it. Aha, yes, here we are on Bradbury 2. We came here to uh, collect a bounty. And we collected him and it was, uh, yeah, it was a time. It was a time. All right, so now we need to head back to the ship. There it is. And uh, go and get our power. So let's go and do that. And here I we miss are. My dear darling, and you, Atlantis. What? As I wander the blackness of the deep abyss. Oh, okay. hello. My ship is in tatters, all dented and worn. But I trust my old engine to get back by morn. Uh. Way oh, out in the blackness. Way oh, out in the void. Hello? Way oh. Give me back to my true love as quick as an old asteroid. Well, okay, okay, I didn't mean to do that. Um always happy to meet a stranger. Hello. What am I singing Mr. Oh like uh, yeah, it was yeah, okay. Um Is that a sea shanty you were singing? It is, at that. If you believe the family tales, we've been merchant men. Freighter captains since the days of the East India Company. Oh. If you like my singing, you should have heard my pops. Now he had a voice. Well, um, yeah, it was nice. Thank oh, you. And now you've made mine. Okay. I'm afraid my ship's got the next jump plotted in, so I'm away. Okay. Fair travels. I did, but, yeah, alright. Well, okay. The Valentine, eh? Well, okay. Never mind, that was, yeah. Really, we well, this looks positively desolate, doesn't it? Good grief. Lemon Pest. Something on your mind? And is it hero work? No, Back I... Well, oh, okay. alright, well, never mind. Oh, what have we got here, then? Helium. A little bit of helium. Oh, that's obviously our, um, Temple, temple Lambda. Okay. Not a problem, not a problem. Is that helium three? Yes, it is. Okay. Ah. And that's aluminium. We do need some aluminium, actually. Is that aluminium? Oh my god, it is. Okay. Can we? Yep. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Whoa, look at the tree things. That's a little kind of weird. Kind of freaky looking. Ugh. Like, ugh. Spiky. Spiky and stinky. Whee! Up. So. Yeah. Don't know how I feel about these things. Don't they look weird? Ooh. Okay, let's, um, oh, better reload. Good grief. That could have been bad news. Imagine! Hmm. What else have we got here? Ah, yes. Our new favourite. This little item. Big ticket item. Aha! Here we are, level pest. Rock and roll, buckaroo. Hello? There we go. Over the other side, really. You gonna do me like this? There's one. Two. Three. Uh -huh. Four. Ah. Here we are. What did we get? 
Eternal Harvest 2. Alright. Okay. Way, look at that. Yes. Just as a little side note there, while I... Oh, let's land, let's land. Something that one of my very, very regular commenters told me. Steve, Steve Dreyer. It is again coming to sort me out and, you know, teach teach my foolish brain how to work. Is that if you press and hold, it builds up like a charge and then releases. And there you go. Never knew that. So thank you, Steve, as usual. Steve always hooks me up, you know. Where would I be without my lovely viewers teaching the old dog new tricks, so to speak? <laughs> well. There you have it. Another power. Another power gained. We are doing quite well on the old powers front now, so... Oh, oof! Is there anything else here, I wonder? Any other... Oh! What's that? Unexplored geophysical feature. Um, Let's have a peep. So that's... yeah. More of these anomalies. We're not really bothered about anomalies. Um, Wow, they're really... Oh, wait, what's this? I'd, it's just going to be another, another, another layer of pirates or something else, isn't it? All right. Well, let's um, let's head back to the ship and then I think let's have a peep. Actually, we now have the power, which is brilliant. So, what was that? Meet up with Milena Axel Axelrod. Oh yes, for um, for Jensen. Hmm, we could do that. And then maybe head over to... Hmm. Maybe head back to Ryujin. Maybe get that quest line going a little bit more. Although there is this. Yeah. Actually, let's 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 go and have a look at that. I mean, I'm curious now. I think we did something like that in the last universe, but I don't actually remember. Which seems odd to say. Never mind. Oh, God. Okay. Hmm. Okay, well... Good God. Zosma. We'll have to go to Zosma first. Or Celeb... Oh. Okay. Brief pit stop on the way at Zosma. Oh my God, there's a power here as well. Um, let's give it a scan. Doesn't look like too bad a planet, does it? Kind of green, kind of watery, kind of interesting. What's it got? Chlorosilanes that we need. Water, iron, lead. Ha! Might be one to um, to explore once we've we've been to the Charybdis system. It is Charybdis, isn't it? I think that's how you say it. Charybdis. Charybdis. Yes. Okay. Well, let's um, set a course. See what's there. It's all we can do. Repeating emergency okay. request. Facility crucible requires vital materials to sustain the mission. Transmitting coordinates on Corinthians 3. End of message. Okay. Well, that's, yeah. Let's have a look. Operation Starseed. Ah, yes. Yes, these folks. I wonder if they're any different in this universe. I can not try. This seems like a decent looking planet, doesn't it? It's got water, it's got greenery. It's got some resources here, the copper. Temperate. Pretty temperate. Ha! Huh. Well, maybe, maybe. Okay, let's let's go and take a peep. Uh, what? Never, never, never have I ever just wandered under the wing of my own ship. I mean, it's kind of dirty under here. Lemma pest! You need to get your sponge and bucket out and get cleaning. Right, okay, let's um, let's just take a peep here. A little peep. Hello! Uh. 
Okay. Spitting goat weed. Lovely. Tobias. Hey, dude. Hello? Sir? Killing of unknown origin detected. Designated outsider. Thanks. This is an undisclosed secret location. Please identify purpose or depart. Uh, well, I mean, you're the one that sent the distress signal. Acknowledging receipt of emergency request. Explanation deemed acceptable. Clearance granted to Crucible. Outsider will deliver 150 units of copper. Really? Compensation will be dispensed. Ugh. Tobias, stand down. We have a visitor. Reminder, deliver required material. End of conversation. This... Well, I don't this know about that, Paul. incredible. For so long, we hoped for any visit, and the day has finally arrived. Okay. Um. Yeah. I mean, your robot needs to learn some manners. That was rude. Forgive Tobias. He only does what he is made to do. Really? Your arrival is truly an historic one. Okay. But many fear what it portends. Dude. Societies have closed their doors and are arguing about what to do. Where's his off switch? Hide to see which way the wind blows. Franklin would know what to do. He's the oldest among us. You should talk with him. Uh, why are people hiding? Crucible is a tinderbox, and any spark will set it off. Oh, God. We're still recovering from a deadly conflict that happened three years ago. Far fewer of us are here to greet you today because of it. Oh, dear. Um... Yeah, what do you mean by societies? Most of us are like me, free and unaligned. But there are three societies that are Jesus. oft at odds with one another. The Believers, the Pragmatists, and the Renegades. It would be wise to meet each of them. Franklin leads the Pragmatists. Guess I'll go and Give talk to time, them. and I'm sure the others will come out. For curiosity's sake, if nothing else. Yeah. Alright. Tobias is a little, um... A little weird. Okay. Can we... Hello? Hello? No. Alright. I mean... Facility robot satellite ghost mine. Ooh! Interesting. Very... Ooh! I mean, I don't need the beer. Hello? Adhere to the mission. Adhere to the mission, eh? What's this? Natural archways. Sounds nice. Okay, well, I suppose we better go and... Please, can I, can I, well, maybe we can get it from here. Yes, look at that. Bam. Couldn't even get under the building. And we did it. Wow. We got the kappa, kappa, kappa. Brilliant. Hey, hey. Lots of copper. I like it. Caseum, caseum? Huh. Okay, this is not too bad. Not too shabby at all. So who are you? Ada. Ada Lovelace. I assume. If memory serves me. Ooh, industrial workbench. Hey, hey. Anything else here? Could I take the zero wire? I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it. And you want to know why? Because I need the zero wire. Because I am the most important man in the room. That's right. Eddie, the tick boy. Good lord. It's thicker every time I see it. And I love it. Hello? Can I peep inside? Peep, 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 peep. Nobody in there. Alright, well, I suppose we better go and speak to, um. Ooh. Speak to Franklin. Here he is. Hey, up, mate. Let me just, um, scope the place out. I'm scoping. I mean, you could put the kettle on. I do like a coffee. I appreciate a coffee. Or a tea. I'll take tea. Tea's good. Ooh, or a sparkling wine. That might be kind of nice. Okay. Ooh. Do you know what? I am kind of hungry. But, well. Got anything else here? No. Good lord. <sighs> this is kind of weird, isn't it? Plushy Xeno Snuggle. Well, Lemon Pest. I think you would like one of those, would you not? <laughs> never mind, never mind. 
Just taking a peep, just scoping out the gaff, making sure that there's nothing of any interest for me. Oh, this is kind of fancy, isn't it? Fancy, fancy. Huh. Anything else? Any notes? Anything of any interest? No. Ooh. Shower's nice, dude. I mean, the whole room is nice. Can't sleep in the bed, obviously. I mean, I don't know why I'd want to, but let's just... I'm going to go and talk to him quick. All right. We can talk now. I'm, I'm satisfied. When your ship landed, I feared the robots would shoot you on sight. Do well not to. I am greatly relieved that they let you enter our community. But you come during a delicate time. Everyone will seek to use your rival to further their own ends. Um. Huh. You don't control the robots? No, we most certainly do not. Our relationship with them is a matter of some debate. Oh dear. Um, and you don't seek to use me? You ask a question you already know the answer to. Yes. Yes, of course. I have need of you. But if you have a good heart and a quick mind, I am sure you will see my point of view. I mean, one out of two ain't bad. Um, I'll be careful then. As well you should. I am Franklin Delano Roosevelt, leader of the Pragmatist Society. Okay. Um, yeah, I've heard that name before. Well, it is gratifying that even after all these years, my name isn't entirely forgot. You see, I was an American president. Not literally, but in a sense I was. Everyone that lives here are clones. Some of us are clones of the greatest figures of history, and others, well, we don't rightly know. When we die, and some of us die quite often, we are brought back. I cannot imagine how strange this must sound to an outsider. Oh, no. No, no. Um... Hmm. And to have such advanced cloning technology is unheard of. How? Is it? I wish I could illuminate you on this, but we are as ignorant of the technology which brought us into being as we are of the outside world. Well, um... Hmm. I mean, I have encountered stranger things. It is true. I am a strange thing myself, being starborn. Then you must live a remarkably interesting life. Oh, hell yeah. After decades, centuries, of trying to figure it out ourselves, there is so very much we don't know either. The robots clone us for a reason. Their so-called mission. Okay. But what that is, and what we should do about it, is something the societies disagree about. Sometimes violently. Hmm. It's best to meet with the other societies. And after, I promise I'll explain the pragmatist's position on matters. Um. Yeah, I'll hold you to it, dude. Hmm. Please do. Hmm. Word has been sent, so the street should be full again. There is more I would talk with you about, but... I would not take advantage of your ignorance. Hmm. Go speak with the Manirinas and Genghis Khan. Okay. Welcome oh. to town, stranger. Consider me part of the welcoming committee. The name's Wyatt Earp. Is it? I'd be most pleased if you'd use one of the spare rooms during your stay. For a modest fee, of course. Yeah. I thought Wyatt was a sheriff. He was. Who are you? I try to be. I do the best I can to uphold the law, but the societies make that difficult. I expect I've had as much success restraining Genghis as the Chinese did. I do what I can. Roosevelt and I are both of the same mind on that. Well. Yeah, let me know if I can help. That's a generous offer. I might take you up on it. 
Hmm. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay. And by the by, I may have access to some essentials I've picked up over the years. Happy to sell them to you. Is there a lot of crime in Crucible? It runs hot and cold. During usual times, it's an occasional scuffle. Maybe a black eye when an argument gets out of hand. And then a society goes on a rampage and it's tombstone all over. I hope your arrival keeps things on an even keel. Yeah, what do you got for sale, dude? At once. A lot of food. Creature jam. I mean, not gonna lie, I do like a bit of jam. But creature j j a jar of chunky jam made from alien meat, fruit, and r unrefined sugar. Meat in jam. Ah. Pigment. I mean, I'll take the pigment, actually, because that could probably be useful. Nutrient. We'll take the nutrient as well. Fibre. I'll take the fibre, because fibre's also useful. I don't think I need any food at this point. Um, yeah. I'm All hoping right. you come back for some repeat business. Yeah, the pragmatists dude. are the only ones who see Crucible for what it really is. I remember your story. With that grin on your face. That 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 poopy in grin. All right, come along, them and pass. So we need to go and speak to. I think this is a Manireus. It is a Manireus. Hello. I had hoped you would visit me. Good. All right. Know that you stand before Queen Amanirinas of the Kush, queen of a dead kingdom on a dead world. But I earned my name, and even the sands of time cannot take it from me. And know that you stand before Eddie, the thickest boy, the best, the beautiful, the finest specimen of man around. Um... What's a kush? In truly ancient times, my land lay south of Egypt, a harsh country. History is enamored of my contemporary Cleopatra, but she would have withered and died had she tried to rule my land. Well, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, you know you're not really a queen, right? You walk our land a few footsteps and think you know everything. Well, you're a clone. If you don't believe me, no. You are not alone. Some clones deride me behind my back. I know this, but I feel in my bones that I am a Manirinas for true, the great and the terrible to those who would oppose me. I remember things no one has told me. Memories of faces, betrayers, lovers, allies, and enemies, and the smells, the right scent, and I close my eyes, and I can picture all of it so vividly. It aches my heart, my home, my kingdom. Well, I mean, I hate to tell you this, but it's now just a dust ball. There's nothing left. We, as mankind, destroyed it. Because we're stupid like that. Okay, um... I'll withhold my judgement then. You That's are cool. wise then. I know how it must sound. Oh yeah. Once, I called upon mighty armies. However, on Crucible I still lead. Have you heard of the Believers? Have you heard of the mission? We are the ones who will take our rightful place in these settled systems to bring in a new glorious age and break the endless cycles of oppression and greed. Um, hmm. Can you tell me about the mission? So many scoff at the mission. Before we are reborn here, there are words all of us are told that we are the chosen we are meant to better ourselves, to learn, grow, and thrive. All of us represent the greatest figures in our history. Who better to lead the settled systems to a new golden age? 
Um, well, uh, well, I suppose so. Um, you really think you can change everything? You are skeptical. My advisors thought the same when Augustus Caesar stood unbeatable at Cush's border. I made war against the mighty Romans. I took their cities and fought them to a draw. No other king or queen can boast of that honor against that famed Roman. And that's just me. Some of the greatest lions of all ages are awaiting rebirth. What are bureaucrats, petty politicians, and lawyers against that? Well, I mean... Yeah, you want me to help you with this? If we could do it ourselves, we would have, years ago. Oh. I do not care if you think my plan is insane. But what I want, what we want, is a chance to prove to the facility we are ready. When someone has achieved their potential, the facility is supposed to set us free among the stars. But the machines have been breaking more and more over the years. And no one has ever been deemed worthy. I need your help to properly fix the facility so that we can prove ourselves and claim our birthright. Um... Maybe none of you are ready. Surely someone, anyone by now would have learned the lessons the facility sought to teach. No, the machines have not aged well. The crises break upon our beach, each one greater than the last. I mean, I'll hear you out, but no promises. Then listen well, outsider. You must go to the facility. All right. The robots and what drives them is not here. The facility is where they come from. Somewhere far to the east. None of us can travel there. But you can go there, please. And see if the facility can be repaired. Then report back to me. No queries are being answered at this time. I mean, I, I didn't have any, but... Well, okay. Whatever. Let's go and find Genghis. You can Genghis. hear the There's howls? There's howls here? What the? What's what's howling? Okay, let's go find Genghis. I think if I remember, what's he's outside. Stranger. Genghis! Out. Oh, jeez! Okay, they're already... Okay. Uh, Alright. Uh, Genghis, hello? Can I... Hello? The man from the stars. Come to see me. Yep. And you're not afraid to get your hands dirty. Nope. I guess the world out there is not so different than here. Probably Genghis not. Khan, a pleasure to meet you. Um... You're really Genghis Khan? Then kind don't of? believe it. It is true his blood runs through my veins. But I am not he. Crucible tries to imprint the clones with fake memories. Genghis predated the Mongols having written records. For being so great a figure, we know practically nothing about him. When mm. was he born? How he died? Where he was buried? A single speech he gave, hmm, nothing. It must have driven the robots mad, trying to figure out what to do with me. Um... Hmm, yeah, you're one of the most terrible butchers in all history. My namesake, yes. A terrible, terrible person. But me? I'm really just a lowly prisoner, stuck on this pitiful planet. I am pleased that the dangers out here are of no concern to you. Nah. You cannot be fully human if you trap yourself behind walls. True. Very true. Um... You did handle yourself well. The robots taught me many things any Mongol would know. So, hunting game, even such as this, is little challenge to me. So Franklin told you of us. Oh, that we're clones? Some of us think that makes us special. 
that the deeds of our namesakes are somehow ours. But that is blind arrogance. We are just people. Same as you. Same as anyone. Oh, um... Huh. I suppose so. Um... Do you really not feel any connection to Genghis Khan? None at all. Okay. It is as if I were a student of his life and times from an early age. I know so much about him. But that doesn't mean I am him. I am me. And I am content with this. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't change your name then. I never really thought about that. Surprising indeed. Mm. Ah, but all this talk gets us nowhere. Okay. Too many of the others grovel at the feet of the damned robots. Trying to play their roles in a broken game. The renegades will not submit. And one day, we will be free. Uh... Yeah, if the renegades are so tough, you shouldn't need me. If Crucible had not hobbled us, we wouldn't. Okay. I have died a dozen deaths trying to find a way out of Crucible. You get too far or disobey too much, then death. Wow. Crucible holds our lives in its hands. But now the robots have made a grave mistake. You. You can go where none of us can. You hold our future in your hands. And all the societies know it. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, if I free you, I got a feeling many people will suffer. Even if you think I deserve this cage, does everyone. If you want your heartstrings tugged, talk to Amelia Earhart. Doesn't she deserve the stars she craves? You know of the facility, yes? Go there and make the machines let us leave. It is not much to ask, and it will set us free. Well, these are what the hell? Is it like an octopus? Only it doesn't have enough legs. Okay, uh, yeah, okay. A pack cephalopod. Okay. Pack cephalopod. Can we ease? Okay. Scan it. Ooh. Territorial. Alien genetic material. Ooh, look at his feet. Weird feet. Ooh. That is, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Okay, well, well, all right. Let's just have a little think here. So we need to go and speak to Franklin, which is fine. But what else is on this planet? I mean, it doesn't seem too bad a planet, actually. I wonder if we could set up the shop here, so to speak. The, um, ooh. The, um... Ugh. Set up an outpost here. Maybe that would be an idea. Once we've sorted these guys out. Because this actually looks kind of nice. Like a jungly type thing. Adoring fan. Hmm. Uh oh. Let's take a look. Not much here, really. A natural archways thing, is it? Huh, okay. Yeah, this is kind of, um. Kind of nice, actually, isn't it? A little bit, um. More greenery than we're used to. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. Well, let's 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 go and speak to Franklin then Lemon Pest and um, see what our next move will be. 
Franklin. Here I come. So All right, Franklin. Hello. Happened. So, you have heard from the other societies. Yep. I must confess I'm very curious what an outsider thought of them and their positions. You might be the first objectively neutral party we've ever come across. Well, I mean... Hmm... Yeah, I, I mean, I am still trying to wrap my head around it, because, I don't know, it seems wrong to keep people caged up here. A very diplomatic approach. Hell yeah. The facility has gathered some of the most obstinate and dangerous personages throughout history. Well, that's true. It has told them that they should lead in a golden age via whatever means they see appropriate. Setting us all loose and part or as a whole would invite disaster. We are barely fit to lead ourselves. Um. Don't some individuals deserve a chance, though? Hmm. A tough but fair question. I must admit the case of Amelia Earhart sometimes keeps me up at night. It is safer if the rule is strict, but if you wanted to make an exception or two, I, I could live with that. But no one from the other societies. They are all dangerous in their own way. Yeah, would it be bad if they, if they you know, left? The most likely case is anyone that leaves Crucible would die or silently fail. But if the mission is correct, and they do take over the settled systems. In the course of history, it took millennia to cast out petty tyrants. The way ahead lies not looking to the past to literally guide us, but for this generation to learn from us. Terrible and great figures we represent had their time. We made the most of it. We should be at peace with it. That's very true. Um. So what's your plan, then? Certainly. It is evident that the facility is decaying. It is both unsustainable and unwise for us to fix and maintain the status quo. Our community must be weaned off the machines, learn how to build, grow, and govern ourselves, allow to raise families so we can pass our lessons to the next generation, and to die. When our allotted time is finished, one day we will be worthy of going to the stars. We are just not there yet. Hmm. Is it wrong if others want to escape, though? Do not listen to passion. Genghis can be very persuasive, but he's a fool. In some sense, we are an abomination. A science project made for unknown ends and with uncertain results. Once we are fully human, fully self-reliant, then we should be allowed to join the settled systems. Hmm. I'll think about it. I am sure in time you will see the validity of my argument. Go to the facility and see what can be done. All right. Bloody hell. Okay. Over here. Hey, we need to talk. Do we, sir? And what would you like from such a, such a soul as myself? You all right? Okay. Hello. In my darkest hours, I fear Listen, that we it's not safe to talk here. It's about Roosevelt. There's something you need to know. <sighs> if you have something to say, I'm all ears. Go Thank quick. you. There's a, well, a cave, just outside town. No chance of us being listened in on. Please, come as quick as you can. Ideally, before you go to the facility. Um... Yeah, it better not be a waste of my time. It won't be. I'll meet you at the cave. Yes, dude, I remember you. Hmm. 
Leather pest. Are you all right? Good lord. Okay. Um, let's take a little peep, shall we? Let's go for a little sniff around. I'm, 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 I'm curious, you know. So, hmm. The other societies make me sick. This is a prison, plain and simple. I mean, it kind of is. They are all being held here, kind of against their will, are they not? And what's the deal with these robots? Why are the robots falling to bits? Huh. Yeah, it does seem a little bit wrong that they're all just kind of being held here, against their will. Because they obviously don't want to stay here. Or some of them don't want to stay here. I mean, I don't know why they don't just, just, just split up. You know, go your, go your separate ways. Ah, nice. The renegades will use any means to escape Crucible. That's all right. You, you, you do that. Huh. A garden trowel. I don't plan on uh, planting any tulips. Maybe you should, Lemon Pest. Maybe we should have a little garden on the ship. Although, I don't know, maybe that would be a little a little, a little, weird. Oh, Genghis, hello. Just going for a little sniff around, mate. Don't mind me. Whoa. Okay. Ooh, hello. Genghis got some stuffs, man. Don't mind me. Advanced tombstone and advanced breach. Ah. Well. Meh. Meh. We don't need it. I mean, you've got a pretty nice setup here, though, Genghis. I mean, do you really want to give it all up, man? Yeah, probably. I mean, I can't say I blame him. It mustn't be fun being stuck in some, you know, prison thing. Not able to do what you want to do. Not able to go where you want to go. Not able to be the person you want to be. Yeah. A single carrot. Well, alright. Well, um, thank you, folks. I will leave you to your business. Maybe we'll, um, well, maybe we should actually go to the facility. Where is this facility, actually, I wonder? Let's, let's take a peep. Shall we? Secret lives. Oh no. Oh yes, we've got to go meet Wyatt, haven't we? Yes, yes, Mr. Earp. Hmm. Curiosity. Alright, let's go. Okay, dude. I remember you now. I remember you. Is that ducks? What the hell is that? A ghost grazer. Holy. Well, alright. Okay, dude, what is it? You came. Ah. I just can't take a chance. These clones, they... They're psychotic. Crazy. If they find out... I'm sorry. I, I just can't take the chance. Excuse me? And here's the part where you reveal who you really are. How... How did you know? But... You're right. I'm not Wyatt Earp. I wish... God, how I wish I was... I was cloned off a monster. America's first serial killer. H. H. Holmes. So, hmm. If you think you can murder me, think again, dude. I don't want to do this. Any of this. If you go to the facility, I know you'd find out who I am. And if you let any of these bloodthirsty maniacs know, they'd kill me. But no, that wouldn't be the end. Every time my new clone would appear, death, torture, pure hell. I'm afraid it's you or me. I'm going to k kill you. <sighs> I'm just going to walk away. It's too late for that. Too late for both of us. Is it? I mean, what? Well, that was a that was a that was a new one. Yeah. Well, more for you, dude. And now you can stay here. I wonder why he burst into flame. Is it because you tried to 
do me in. Am I really that good? Just one look and you you just set on fire. It's because I'm hot stuff, baby. Bam. I'm slamming it. Poof. <laughs> okay. Well. Now that that's been dealt with. What the hell are those? Okay. Do you know what? I don't I I I don't need to know. I don't need to know. God. So the question now has to be asked. Should we tell Franklin or the others? Or will they already kinda know? Mind you, he'll just come back anyway. As a, as as a I don't know. As a clone. So what does it matter? L Lemon pest? There you are. Come on. Come on, buddy. We're going to go and find this facility. Yes, we are. See what's going on here. But we are going to leave it there for today, folks. Next time we will go and find the facility. And, um, well, see what outcome we can find this time. But until next time, be safe. Be good. And look after yourselves.